Hi everyone, about a minute on why it's essentially impossible, that's a direct quote, uh, for us all to drive EVs. And why is that? We don't have enough copper. We can't mine enough copper. That's the finding of a new report that was put out earlier this month by researchers at the University of Michigan. They looked at the global supplies of copper and the amount of copper that we're mining now. And what did they find? Uh, they said that uh, between uh, now and 2050, the world would need to mine. Here's the direct quote from the University of Michigan press release. The world would need to mine 115% more copper than has been mined in all of human history up until 2018 just to meet current copper needs without considering the green energy transition. That's an end quote. So th there are physical limits to what we can do with all of this stuff. And copper is a key limiting factor. And this University of Michigan study is very stark. Uh, the lead author of the report, a guy named Adam Simon, uh, said that the amount of copper needed to electrify transportation is here, I'm quoting, essentially impossible for mining companies to produce. Essentially impossible. This is an academic saying this. It's not an opinion. They're, they looked at the entire history of global copper mining and that is what they found. Um, they also said the conclusion on the press release, uh, Adam Simon again said, we need a complete mindset change about mining among environmental groups and policymakers. I think that's absolutely right. We need a complete mindset change about electric vehicles and, and this halo around EVs that's existed now for years and this idea that we're going to electrify everything, including all of our transportation, it's not based in reality. And this University of Michigan study just provides more proof of that fact. Okay, I'll stop there. You can follow me on Substack. I've written a lot about electric vehicles, as you know, uh, robertbrice.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.